Minimax, another new tech startup from Shanghai, has just introduced some extremely impressive AI models. Previously, they published API-based models for all AI models that use voice, text-to-speech, language models, and music models. They now have an, an AI video generator, and this may be utilized on the web by any end user. You don't need any technical skills. Simply utilize their web-based AI video generator to generate videos, and it is now in beta, with free infinite creation every day. So, during this time, you may utilize their online UI to make some great AI video or any other imaginative, fantasy, or realistic styles. AI videos do not limit credit or accounts in any way, however they can currently only be used for text-to-video production. The quality is quite impressive. Honestly, there's so far the quality and the prompt following. I tested and saw other AI influencers are talking about it. It is quite impressive. So we are going to test this web UI-based AI video generator and we are going to see some opportunities in here for people who want to build a business on top of AI. And there are some inspirations from these new startups that I have seen. I want to share this just, you know, some kind of inspiration for how in this moment of inflation, a lot of crazy stuff is going on and in the world, but we can still have the opportunity to create cool startups, especially right now in technologies. We create tech startups. There's no limit. So let's check it out. So first, we see this very clean, very simple UI interface. Now it is, of course, in Chinese because it's a Chinese startup from Shanghai and they create this Chinese interface, of course. But then the chatbot for large language models. And in here, as you can see, they have the videos and the music AI generator for this one is able to do English text prompts as well as multi-languages. This icon is here. You can click that to create images. And the last button here means you can help me write article content. So in this video, we are going to test this one, create AI videos. And for these two words on the highlighted, it is called like limit time free. So with this beta limited time, it is totally free. Generate text to a six second video clip. So let's check it out. This is a very simple web UI. And yes, by the way, you have to log in before you play around with that. You can use your phone. But now I'm logged in and already using a phone number. I believe for international users, you guys don't have much often using WeChat. So maybe you are having your phone number. That's fine because this one is different from Kling AI before. That only supports Chinese phone numbers. This one is supporting international phone numbers. So everyone can access this AI video generator immediately today. And in here, I have tested a few video clips. As you can see below here, the UI right now is kind of simple. It looks very similar to my point of view. It's very similar layout design to Luma AI, where you have only the text box on the top and a submit button. That's all you have. And of course, Luma AI creates other features right now, but also for everything. What we see in here is a clean, simple web UI for creating videos. And right here below, we see other people's created videos, and it looks quite impressive. All these videos are well done. The quality is better than Kling AI in some points of view. And even some are better than Lumen AI and Runway. I can see that they're like fast motion. Especially like a character moving fast forward or some fast motions is able to produce in this AI video model that they have. For example, like this one, the kid is skateboarding. It looks like some view, like New York using that kind of style. You know, tall buildings, but not quite modern style buildings. I can see that it does use some real video data for training these AI models. And we have, of course, some cyber realist futuristic style scenes that lots of people like to create, like futuristic video clips, etc. You can check this out. And uh, here, when you see the text prompt, it is written in Chinese for this one. And I saw some of that are able to do in English, and I have done mine in English as well. For example, this is a very good one. A man in business walking in a busy city street while on the phone in the meantime. So it's able to understand the time, the timing of the objects and what they are doing and then be able to follow the prompt. Very good. Better than Kling AI because if that is some case I did before in Kling AI, it's hard to follow. Maybe one or 
either one of these prom instructions is not going to be produced in the AI videos because mostly I will be testing three elements like this, a man in a business suit walking in a busy city and talking on the phone in the meantime, so three elements. And see if the AI video models are able to understand this and produce everything exactly from the output. And sometimes Kling AI cannot do that. So for example, I have just typed a very simple text prompt here. Will Smith eating spaghetti, of course, every, you know, a new AI video generator, new video models, people testing that a lot in x.com. And for Kling AI is unable to identify the, you know, Will Smith. And yeah, of course it's eating spaghetti. It looks like spaghetti. But if you get closer to see the videos here, it is not actually spaghetti. This is like fried noodles from, you know, Indonesian or Chinese food have those similar fried noodles. And sometimes it's unable to follow this problem, which is kind of frustrating when you just use text to videos in Kling AI. And even I saw some people use Luma AI are able to do sometimes, but Luma AI, well, the quality is getting better right now after the update and Runway Gen 3 sometimes can do it as well, but it cannot always get the fast motion for Runway. It's always like slow camera panning motions. They are performing the best for those kinds of scenes. But for Minimax, it is able to generate a video that is in a normal 1x speed video and even a time-lapse fast moving forward video within that six seconds. And I believe, of course, they will have extended video length in the future when they open up this surface for a pay user or pay subscription plan. And right now is just beta open for all kinds of things like this for everyone to try it out. And in here, I have test Will Smith eating spaghetti. So it's able to create Will Smith and the spaghetti is actually the spaghetti, but it's not putting into the mouth. So I guess we will have to be more specific in the actions, like maybe put a comma or another sentence to instruct the AI, you know, put the spaghetti in the mouth or something, or Will Smith is eating spaghetti while he's talking, something like that. But so far, these six seconds are doing pretty well. And overall, the sharpness and brightness of the AI videos are better than a lot of AI video models from their early stages. Now, I cannot compare this one with, you know, what we have in Kling AI, Luma AI, or Runway right now, because those were, you know, already created a few months ago. And these Minimax AI video models were just launched last week. It's still in the early stages. So we will do some Sora text prompts, as I have grabbed those text prompts before, and play with a COG Video X 2B and 5B models. So for example, the Tokyo woman walking on the street like this one, very famous in some. If AI videos are good enough to follow the text prompt instructions, it is when half of the mark from my evaluations already. So let's check it out. So I will generate all those Sora prompts and we will come back later and review everyone. But so far it's pretty good as I can show these two video generations. Here it does. Following the prompts in Japanese Tokyo Street and the red dress woman walking forward. Although the characters, of course, are going to be different with the one from Sora or the other AI video generator result, but the prompt following is very good. And next we are seeing this one, which is a young man sitting on the cloud and reading books. Again, the prompts generations, all the instructions are following, and not only following the prompts, but also within those six seconds, is able to achieve the whole picture of what the prompts are doing. So yeah, I'm gonna generate two more of the Sora text prompt and we will see all the results together. Okay, so we got some results generated here. And as you can see, some elements on some videos are kind of familiar from what we saw in Sora. So first of all, we got the Tokyo red dressed woman walking on the street. But the next one is kind of nice, which is the guy sitting on a cloud and reading a book fairly smoothly within six seconds. Well, honestly, you cannot do any fancy camera angles movements, but then there's a little panning tilling motions for these six seconds to express this action, which is pretty nice. And the next one is of course the red motorcycle helmet, which looks like a weird guy. And you know, these scenes are pretty much following the prompts. And for this one, it looks younger than what it has in Sora Idenhi. But honestly, from my opinion, when we put the 30 year old spaceman in this prompt here in this video, AI models do follow what actually that is, which is not like 
you know, having all the mustaches and looking like a middle-aged or an old man. But yeah, it's kind of in the 30-year-old looking person, so they do understand the age of people as well in these models. And the next one is that there's many TVs showing the difference. Sci-fi movies in the 50s, news, and all kinds of TV shows and programs look different than what we saw in Sora. Which, in Sora AI, is no stacking all the TV like a mountain on top like that. But for this one, it is present in a different way. But the whole text prompt does follow. And, you know, all this TV is showing is some, you know, black and white TV programs that look alike. Styles cannot really be expected to be 100% those programs, but it will act like those TV shows in the 50s. And the resolution from Minimax is better than Kling AI. Honestly, now we will see what Kling AI results later on. And the last one I used this SUV driving on the mountain road, and it was very smooth for this one although it's just 6 seconds but everything is high resolution and it doesn't have any deformations on the car wheels etc and all the trees are very coherent in one shape even the camera is panning and moving in different angles i kind of like this video's ai model result but of course there are some weird things it doesn't understand or it will generate wrong for example like this one I type is that a girl with shiny clothing is turning around, but look at the head, it stays still and the bodies turn around for human perspective. This is creepy. But of course, AI doesn't know about what is creepy, they just generate random stuff like this. So let's take a look at Kling AI. What does I generate with a few of these examples? So the first one in the Chinese versions, Kling AI, is the Tokyo woman walking on the street. And the phase is starting to deform. I am using the normal performance mode, not the high performance mode. So all these videos I generate in the examples in Kling A, I have normal performance. And the TV shows from the 50s look similar, like what Sora does, stacking all the TVs on top. But when you see those TV shows inside of those TVs, it actually doesn't look nice. Deforming and not really one screen is accessible showing what it is. But going back to Minimax, it's very clear that although some are not showing any program, like this on the front and the one on the back, is really showing a woman talking, smiling, and doing those kinds of actions. So I kind of like Minimax for this, you know, text to video mode. And going back here, this is a really funny thing. But well, we cannot say this result is wrong because the text prompt is what it is for this text prompt. And but one thing is going wrong in this AI. Videos in Kling AI show that this is a 30-year-old spaceman and this model ignores what we have in here. Instead, this AI only focuses on the red wool knitted motorcycle helmet. Then that is not really what I like about this sometimes. So sometimes I use Kling AI. I will just make the text prompt as simple as it can. I think it's only able to handle like one or two facts in a text prompt. If you put more than three, it is starting to get difficult to generate a good result for that. So on the next one, this is pretty okay. If I turn it to high performance, and of course the face will look better. So it's passed. And look at the Kling AI international versions. I generate two more in here, which is the SUV. Again, this is from a modern SUV. It turns out to be like a 50 to 60 style of car, although that is a SUV style and starts deforming at the end. But uh, the view of this mountain looks nice, and the last one here, I did a professional mode with 5 seconds in Kling AI and generated this result. And so the Japanese woman is a lot more sharpening. The clothing looks way better. And all the resolutions of the people walking on the side of the building and the banner light are looking way better. You got a TV showing screen on the sidewall here. Compared with the normal mode in here, a lot difference, right? So if we want to bring like really side-by-side -side comparison, maybe we have to wait for if Minimax does have something, what they call a normal mode or performance mode, or if they don't, they just going full time with the best result in here, then we will compare the best result of what those AI video generators do have. So for example, the best mode is professional in Kling AI. And in Minimax, what they have is always you know, output the best models, the best mode in here, then we will, maybe we will do that, but we have to see when they finish the beta version release, like the official release of these AI models for videos generated, then we can try it later.
So looking forward to this AI video generator and all their surfaces, their service is pretty interesting actually. I have tried other things as well, which is a voice conversation with AI, Iron Man style conversation talk with Jarvis, other AI model they have, for example, AI music generator and image. I'm not sure what kind of image models they are using, but it looks like they can chat with the image, a vision enable language model. And the last one is for writing content, writing articles. Looking forward to this new AI video model, and hopefully there'll be more DIT, Transformer Architecture Video Models, released soon. There's one from Black Forest Lab. And I mentioned in this talking, chatting with our friends in Discord server, that Flux will have an AI video model soon, and hopefully that will be in this year someday. And looking forward to this one soon. So see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.